This is a pretty interesting way of asking this question. You have two blocks hanging from a Newton meter and soaked in two different liquids. If you pay close attention, both Newton meters actually have a different reading. P is kind of up here. Q is down there. Oh, interesting. That means somehow, somehow, there are different forces at play. But what are they asking us? What is the ratio? Density of oil, density of water. Oh my goodness. So when you see ratios, if you can find the density of oil and you can find the density of water separately, then you can divide both, wrong? but you need to figure out how to find that. Or is it W, Q, and P? Oh my goodness. So before I go into the details, show you a very quick simulation of this situation. So if you're not sure how it works, this is how roughly it looks like. This gray color thing is a scale. So I can move it around everywhere. Notice how the scale always reads 50 Newton, which is kind of the weight of this object. Okay, so everywhere I go, that's what I read because the scale reading, which is the upwards tension force of the block, on the block, is equal to the downward weight of the block. But notice what happened when I put it in water. So I'm going to stick this whole thing in water. Huh? Pay close attention to what happens to this 50 Newton reading and this green color arrow. So here we go. Let's dip it in water. Oh. 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 What happened? Why when I stick it here, the block is submerged there, the reading has changed. Is that here? Completely changed. <gasps> okay, let me, let's stick here. So the, read, the, the difference is once your block is in water, there's another force that is pushing the block up and that is your buoyant force or upthrust force that we learned in cabbage. So notice here, so downward weight, upwards buoyant force and the tension force from the thing. Okay, so keep this in mind. Uh, three forces at play. Now let's go and look at that question. So we're going to start off by labeling the forces on the block as usual. So the block has some weight, which is mg. Mm, some tension force, right? We forgot that. Now the tension force here is the same as what is pulling down this uh, hook that causes the reading. So actually T is P la. So sure, let's 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 call this P. But don't forget, you are in water, so you also have an upthrust force. So that will be this U. We'll just add it here. Three forces. Is the block in equilibrium? We're going to assume it is so, based on the question, because they didn't say the block is moving or anything. You are not holding the block in the water. It's just suspended there. La. Completely immersed. So how would you write out the equations for this thing? Ooh, let's start. So if it's in equilibrium, all the upwards force must equal to all the downwards force. So that means... P plus U equals to mg. For this, this, this thing. Then we do the same thing for oil. So this is for water. Oil is the same thing, right? Ah, yeah, just that is this one is Q, U, mg. So for oil, we have Q plus U equals to mg. Now, how are we going to find density? We need some way to get density into our equation. Then only we can find ratio to divide. So, where do we start? Scratch our heads a little bit. Uh, let's do this. Why don't we just try to sub in everything we know about P, U, and MG. P is already a tension force, so we can't sub in anything there. But up trust. We could substitute some things we know about up trust. Now, if you remember the formula for up trust, up, up trust that is rho vg. So let's write here, rho. What's rho? Rho is the density of the fluid. So density of water. Oh, that's what we want. That's what we want. So rho v is the volume of this block. Is it the same block for both? Mm, yeah, object of weight. Yeah, that's fine. Same thing. So they have the same mass, same w. So rho V and G equals to mass of this block Mg. So you know we gonna let's let's rearrange a bit to express for rho. So rho W times Vg equals to Mg minus P. Actually we can say W, right? Okay la, we say W. So we change Mg to W. Too many things now. 
So let's change this back to W. Otherwise, it will be too many alphabets and we'll get a headache later. That's better. Alright, so the row W equals to W minus P over the volume of the object divided by G. Okay, let's continue with the right side. So we're going to do the same thing, same process, sub in everything we know. Up thrust is due to what? Density of the fluid, which is oil, rho O. Volume, which is the same object, so just V also. And gravitational force, a gravitational constant, sorry. And mg is just w, so we just keep it as that. Now we do the same thing, we rearrange. So rho o v g equals to w minus q. Do you see where we're going? We're almost there. So w minus q over v g. There we go. Now we can find the ratio. So I'll write the working down here. The ratio rho o over rho w will be w minus q over vg divide by w minus p over vg vg and vg cancel out so what do you have w minus q over w minus p that's what we have so let's see which should be the answer w minus q w minus p d is the answer Woo, we found the answer very good so when you see ratios stay calm find both separately and then you divide them to find the ratio that's the one of the most straightforward way lah. okay so you remember you're trying to find density so you need to somehow somehow get density involved in the equation so that's why we did this we come up with force equations then we plug in everything we know about up trust and things like that all right so that's for this question I will see you in the next question and we'll have more fun with Paper 1 MCQs.